Howdy fellow Wastelanders and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. We are at the Helios 1 solar power plant room. I think this is where they store all the power. And we are finishing our quest. Let's pull it up on here. That lucky old sun where we have to restore power to the Helios 1 mainframe via an auxiliary generator. We can use it to wipe out all nearby NCR soldiers, which we will not be doing. Or we can use it to send power to the destination of our choosing. So here's our generator. Oh, is somebody running into me? No, okay. And we need scrap metal. That's what we're missing with this. Okay, so all we have to do is find some scrap metal. Which I'm pretty sure I found some in one of the rooms. I don't think I can just straight up use like, let's see, no. Lure of the Tides Innovation. Okay, nothing in there. What is this? What is this box? Oh, I can't click on it. Uh, literally nothing in all of these filing cabinets. I knew I saw scrap metal somewhere. We'll find it. What's this room? How do we get in here? Do we come through here? Yeah, I think we came this way. Maybe. I don't think I've seen these. It's a brain. Python. Talk to him. This robot has been fitted with a variety of tools specialized for industrial maintenance. There is a slot at the back of the head where it looks like a key card could fit. Science of 45 or Poseidon Energy ID card required. Um, hardwired the robot to run on autopilot in repair mode or insert the card. Let's insert the card. Uh, hello. Damn, he just zoomed away. Where are you going? Come back here. Oh my gosh, he's fast. Oh, is he gonna fix it for us? Ah, look at that! Okay, sufficient electricity should now be flowing to the mainframe computer. Good job, Python. This robot has been fitted with a variety of tools, especially for industrial maintenance. However, there's nothing left in the room for it to repair. Okay. So we need to activate. Okay. Configure power grid, initial trials, or art testing. What are initial trials? Pending the successful launch of ARC-2, we ought to be able to begin field trials with a handheld rangefinder within a few weeks. Our small-scale tests have already proven the viability of sending power as microwave radiation from the plant to a remote receiver and converting it back into a usable form. All that remains is to extrapolate it to full scale and then prove out the long range communication targeting system on the rangefinder. Okay, configure power grid. So he said that we need to send it to McCarran in Las Vegas. Okay. So we used it to send it to that destination. Initiate reflector retargeting from the console on the tower observation deck. All right. So 
So I wonder... Okay, that goes into that tower. Anything else in here? I think we looked at this brain thing. It makes me think of Fallout 4. Mojave Wasteland. Whoa, look at this. Isn't this cool? All the solar panels. Wow. One of my favorite things to do in Fallout 4 is just get into one of these high places and look out at Boston. So cool. I'll be excited to see where they're going to set Fallout 5. Okay, is this it? Activate reflector control panel. The console is unresponsive. For it to operate properly, it would need to be activated during peak sunlight hours, 9 to 3. A power configuration would need to be set up in the tower's mainframe, and the two ground level terminals would need to have an active uplink to the mainframe. Jeez, this is complicated, huh? Let's see. It keeps reminding me that I just wipe out all NCR. How lovely. Okay, it's just past three. So. Power configuration would need to be set up in the tower's mainframe. The two ground level terminals would need to have an active uplink to the mainframe. Okay, I think everything is good. We just need to hit it and wait until our time frame. Let's go see if we can find a bed in here from one of the scientists or something. That way we don't have to completely leave and then come back. There's some desks down here, but I don't see a bed. Maybe in here? Here's a pillow. No bed though. What's over here? Oh, something's still out there. Please step into the open and identify yourself. Law-abiding citizens have nothing to fear. Are we not through here? Yeah, I think so. This area clear. Proceeding with search protocol. Oh, there's a protectron. I don't think we saw this area. Take those cells. What's over here? Oh, we'll take this just in case. Scrap of metal. Okay, something's in here. Bro, what the hell is that? That was crazy sounding. Eat this. Oh, there they are. Put down your weapons and submit to authority. Got him. There was another one. Lock. Oh. <laughs> Take all the scrap metal now. Okay. Oh, here's a door. Oh, to the junk room. Let's see, I don't want to talk to ED. No. I want to look at this toolbox. Uh, I'll take one of those scrap electronics just in case. Just in case. Okay, we were looking for a bed. See if we go back this way. See if there's anything up here. Oh, 
I know y'all didn't take work-life balance seriously in pre-war. I've learned enough on the terminals to know that. So there's got to be a bed, right? <gasps> Aha! Aha! I was right. Okay, it is five. And I, I can't remember now if it said 10 or noon. We'll do noon to be safe because there was a window. Oh, that's a lot of hours. Fancy meeting you <laughs> here, friend. Jesus Christ. Victor, how did you even get in here? How did you get here? Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. You see what happened in here? Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. Did you see Benny come this way? Fancy Pants? No, I ain't seen hiding a hair of him since the tussle in Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living in New Vegas, though. Hmm. It's good to see you again, Victor. Kind of. Yep. Yeah, this is getting a mighty embarrassing. People gonna start to talk. <laughs> you flirt. All right, goodbye. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. I'll take you up on that. Now, back to sleep. Okay, let's make our way back now. Aha! We did it. Now we gotta go talk to Fantastic. Oh, look, there's more dogs down there. Jeez, what the heck is all that noise? Um, what's going on? I initiated that thing right, right? Please tell me those guys are just sleeping and they didn't actually kill them somehow. Those, oh no, they're still walking around, okay. Okay, let's go talk to Fantastic. Let's see if uh, she has anything what to say it? to us. Uh, nope. Okay. Later. There he is. Yo. Yo. All right, I sent power to McCarran in the strip. Whoa, really? Oh shit! Oh, I knew I could do it. Those NCR pricks can all get on their knees and worship at the altar of fucking Fantastic. But don't worry, I'll tell them what you did for me, man. Not all of it, though. They think I was an idiot. But some of it. Keep at it, man. One day you could end up where I am. You never know. I want to throttle that dude. He is annoying. Goodbye. Adios, amigo. All right, NCR, we're liked. Okay, so... So the comment section said that there was. Hello. Oh, are we supposed to talk to him? Ignacio. It's unusual to see a new face here. Are you a soldier or a scientist? Um. See, either I'm a soldier. My interest in this place is scientific. More of a drifter. That's not your concern. We'll say more of a drifter. I see. Then you must have some special business here for them to have let you through. Um. Well, they're looking for help getting this plant running. Interesting. Forgive me for prying, but I'm curious. Are you with a particular group? This is your turf. For all I know, you could have me killed for my allegiance. Who are you with? I mean, let's be honest. Um, I, okay, I feel like these two options are pretty good. My only true allegiance is to myself because it's the wasteland and that's kind of how you have to be. But also, I just do what's necessary to keep the peace. That also sounds kind of good, huh? 
Well, let's be like true hardened wastelanders. My only true allegiance is to myself. Then for everyone's sake, I hope you serve a worthy master. Are you a maker of war or peace? Uh, peace. That's reassuring. Although many who've made that claim to the followers of the Apocalypse over the years have had less than pure intentions. Followers but if it's really as you say, then take my advice. This installation carries with it dangers that no one here has realized. Take care what you do here and who you listen to. Some things are best left buried with the old world. Okay, what more is there to this place than a power plant? I don't entirely know. Our records on the company that built this place suggest that their dealings were not only in energy, but also in weapons. And I've seen equipment here marked with symbols used by the pre-war military. Targeting computers, shock sensors. A code word comes up repeatedly in the papers I've looked through here. Archimedes. Archimedes, that's how you pronounce it. Well, why are you here? I was sent here when we saw that the NCR had taken it. We have no record of the facility, but its original builders were cause for concern. I'm to determine the threat level of this place and do everything in my power to prevent the revival of any dangerous pre-war technology. The NCR let me stay because they are desperate for answers about this place, but I've kept them in the dark. Okay, well, that's Brotherhood of Steel if I've ever heard it. Well, why are you still here? Keeping watch, mostly. I'm trying to make sure the dangers of this plant are minimized. Tell me more about the followers of the apocalypse. Humanity lost many things after the war. Methods of agriculture, techniques for survival. We took it upon ourselves to piece together this knowledge and bring it back to them. Go on. Other things weren't lost, but were blocked from our collective memory. Knowledge of what we're capable of and how things spiral out of control. It's in our nature to want to forget truths that keep us awake at night. And for that reason, it's all the more important that the followers walk the ways to remind people of them. Okay, so he's not Brotherhood of Steel. He's followers of the Apocalypse. Do the followers work together with the NCR? We did for a time, but our goals differ. The NCR only cares to expand their wealth and their reach. For us, territory boundaries mean nothing. And prosperity has to be for everyone, not just citizens of the NCR. So parting was inevitable. While the NCR pushes east, we clean up the mess they leave behind. Try to provide some stability. Oh, that's a noble thought. Okay, well, where are the followers based around here? We're scattered, mostly. We go where we're needed. Our largest presence is in Freeside, at Old Mormon Fort. Other than that, I know Dr. Usanagi set up a practice near the Crimson Caravan, and a man we train is operating out of the Aerotech building. Another man, Tom Anderson, was looking into water supply problems in Westside, but that was a while ago. Okay... Do you think Ark is a weapon they built here? Yes. And the technology they have in this facility is like nothing I've seen. Some of it reminds me of Enclave equipment, but more advanced. A weapon based upon it would be catastrophic, no matter who claimed it. It's no wonder the Brotherhood wouldn't give it up. Okay. Um... He pronounced that Enclave. I always thought it was Enclave. The NCR doesn't know about the weapon? Not yet. By some miracle, they've hired an imbecile to try and decipher the systems here. <laughs> he spent months working at one console trying to get the solar reflectors to track the sun. What he doesn't know is that the only thing the console controls is the plant's intercom system. I tried to tell him, but he insisted that the largest console had to be the most important. Still, it's only a matter of time. Yeah, we already got that up and running. The Brotherhood of Steel knew about ARC. They weren't here for me to ask, but I doubt they were here for electricity. When the NCR first came here, it was under Brotherhood control. They usually steered clear of one another, but something here changed their minds. The Brotherhood's interest in pre-war technology has always been in weapons. It's likely they were trying to reclaim Archimedes when the NCR arrived. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's it. I thought he might... It sounded like he was like building up for a quest or something, but I guess not. Goodbye. That must have been the scientist that we were supposed to talk to. And here's Victor again. Fancy meeting you here, friend! Okay, um, we'll just say goodbye. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. Howdy, partner! 
What is, is this the door to get out? Yeah, it is. Okay. We don't want to go that way. Just download complete. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost scientist. I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. Please handle this information with the utmost care, as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy, and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. Uh, okay. Okay, so something, there might be some info about EDE here. Howdy, partner! Okay, let's go back this way because we had opened that door but we hadn't actually gone that way and looked around. So let's go check out if there's anything over here. The Legion's coming for us. Just a matter of time. Believe you me. Yep, that's a scary thought. Take these rounds. Filing cabinets, toolbox, sawed off shotgun. And um, uh, why not? Okay, let's go through here. Okay, this place is so much bigger than I thought it was. some good ammo. Oh, pick door to Mojave Wasteland. Okay, this is a side door that we had saw on the outside. Oh, I didn't mean to take those cigarettes, but whatever. Oh, somebody's in here. This must be where... This chain link fence perimeter is worthless. We might as well be defending a cage from the inside. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe that guy Fantastic wasn't an idiot. Maybe he was a genius. I can assure you he's not. Gecko steak in a pilot light. This place is off limits to civilians. You don't like it, take it up with Lieutenant Haggerty. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Ooh, more missiles, Rad X. Very good. Surprised they didn't send you somewhere more vital. Um, why? I'm just a civilian. Okay, uh, there were stairs, so let's go check those stairs real quick. See if there's anything good up there. There's an apple. Sunset Sarsaparilla. No mind if I knew. Tin can. What's this? Oh. That looks like a terminal we might be able to get on. Okay. Arc testing. I think we already saw this. Results. Um, we already saw this. Upcoming visit. We saw that. Can I tell him? Okay, so there's nothing new on this. Lame. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, what is this? Eastern Reflector Control Terminal Password. Gosh darn it. If we would have just searched a little bit more, we wouldn't have had to don all that. Okay, well, you live and you learn. Hey, 
Really? There's another one right here? Now they're just laughing in our face. Ooh, DC Journal of Internal Medicine. Oh, I think this is a book. Medicine increased by four. Hell yeah, let's go. Tinted reading. Does that have anything good about them? No? Okay. I guess that's it. I'm not sure what Edie's message was about. If we're supposed to find something here. Let's see if it says anything on the quest line. Uh, he appears to have some enclave log data stored that is triggered by some keywords. Okay. Confront Benny at Topps Casino, and then we need to go to Crimson Caravan. I don't know if we're just completely done with the quest line here. What is it? I think that's it for in here. Oh damn, the dogs outside are going crazy. Not my dogs, the dogs in this game. Uh, maybe we should go outside, make sure nothing's happening. Talk to him one more time. Yo. Howdy, partner. Yeah, we definitely got that thing turned on. You can hear it. Okay, so as far as I can tell, there's nothing else here to do. We talked with. Um, the one guy from the Apocalypse Followers or something like that. And it didn't seem like he led us to any sort of quest. So, um, I think we're going to end the episode here. And next episode, what we'll do is we're going to continue north and kind of make our way to the city. And maybe stop at, I think I saw, um a dot on the map for Repcon headquarters so we might go check that out and just kind of you know check out anything we find on our way up to the city because I think that's where the quests are kind of leading to us at that point. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.